folks you might have seen in our colleges is customary to exchange garlands. Folks, just a few words before we start. Um, South Indian ceremonies, like others around the world, involve numerous symbolic and meaningful customs based on cultural, societal, and family values. Surprisingly, only a small proportion of the ceremony that spans multiple days that you might have heard of is actually religious in nature. Uh, most of it is kind of social, fun, and families meeting each other. Um, families play an important and crucial part in our culture. Um, Indian marriages are primarily about the union of two families, uh, as we believe that the success of the couple's future is stronger when built on the support, blessings, and love of the families. Um, one of the practices is the respect we give our elders. Uh, it's customary to seek the blessing of family elders uh, before we start anything. Uh, this is done by touching the feet of the elders in order to ask for their blessing. Uh, we believe that when a person bows down and touches the feet of their elders, uh, not only does this represent and reflect a more humble and modest action by the person, but primarily the gesture indicates respect for age, experience, achievements and wisdom of the person whose feet you are touching. Uh, the elder person, in turn, blesses uh, if like the person touching their feet. Um, that's quite an important thing that we start various events with. Um, and of course, in this case, there are elders to us, ourselves as well. Therefore, Vijaya will start by asking the blessings of our elders. As the exchange of rings is symbolic of the union between two people in Western culture, uh, in Indian ceremonies, uh, we do the tying of a necklace that represents everlasting union and love between the two people. So this normally happens as part of the uh, main wedding ceremony, uh, and that kind of commences, if you like, the kind of religious elements of the, the wedding taking place.
we're going to come on to doing what's called in our language Saptapadi or seven steps. Uh, for thousands of years, the heart of the Indian ceremony has been what's called Saptapadi. Saptapadi seven. Seven walks around the fire. Uh, fire, of course, burns through the essence of things. With each of the steps that the couple take, witnessed by the elements of fire, earth, and water, dear friends and family, people gathered here today, the partners affirm promises that cement their minds and hearts and the essence of their marriage. Um, shortly, Cam, Cam and Sandy will take each other's hands and do seven loops of the fire. As they do each circuit, uh, they will make seven commitments. Um, Sam's just going to say those as he walks around. That's it. Both of what going to say. We promise each other that we'll be together forever. Powered by our love and our commitment to the work that makes an enduring and life partnership. We will nourish each other and take care of each other. Physically, mentally, and spiritually. We will always treat other, each other with friendship, respect, and love. We'll support each other throughout life to grow as individuals and as a team. We will do our best to build and share a life of prosperity. And we'll share in joy and sorrow alike and hold each other's hand through times good and tough. If we decide to expand our family, we will both joyfully do our part to look after all our two-legged all four layers. <laughs> 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 Vaibohame Pavanaja Stuti Patra Pavanaja Ritra Ravi Soma Varanitra Ramadiya Katra Kamil Kalyana Vaibohame Sanju Kalyana
the next activity is a uh, tradition from the days when people used to get married when they were much younger. So the next activity, actually, part of the marriage ceremony, they used to get the bride and bridegroom to play games as part of uh, you know, getting to know each other and everything else. So that has stuck as a kind of fun part of modern weddings. So we're going to have a kind of games that people play in our ceremonies.